Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing, unpacking, whatever you wanna call it. I've got some chair mats and for my desk and we're gonna find out if this one is any better than this big one. All right, so I went on Amazon and I found a couple of uh, chair mats that looked like they might be good. The two of them are very different. First one here is a 55 by 35 inch mat and it's kind of a uh, carpet texture if you can see that and then the other one i have here is a 63 by 51 and it's much thinner you see they've rolled it up here and it's kind of a uh, hard plastic texture so i'm going to try out both of these see which one works better see what my recommendation is and maybe i'll learn a little bit about chair mats and be able to teach you a little bit about what you might be looking for when you're shopping for a mat for your office. All right, so the first one I'm actually gonna be unpacking and testing is this smaller one. Um, this is the carpeted one that is 55 by 35. As of filming this on Amazon, it is $30, quite affordable. Um, looks like it's on sale though, 25% off from $40. But uh, this guy should fill a reasonable space. It looks like we've got a, uh, kind of a, is it a rubberized base on there. It's kind of glossy. And then you have this kind of a really rough carpet texture here. Um, similar to what you might see in like a school or something like that. Let's go ahead and lay this guy down, see how it fits underneath my desk. All right, so first thing we're gonna pull our chair out of here. And yes, this is my recording space. It's really small and narrow and right up against the wall, but it does what I need. So do I want to lay it sideways? Or well, I think I want to go lengthwise, like this. Um, honestly, I was hoping that it would fit uh, underneath the feet of my table here. So the tape, the desk would also hold it down, but it looks like it's not quite that wide. I might try it out this way just because I kind of want to have something for my feet to rest on as opposed to turning it the other way, turning it like this. I definitely would be able to get it under the desk, but also my feet over there are going to be uh, on the wood floor. And as I've mentioned in other videos, my home is old. And these are original hardwood floors from a 110 year old house. So there are some imperfections. It's not beautiful, it's not perfect. Every once in a while, guys like this one here will catch your toe or your sock. I'm not a fan of that. All right, so first impressions. I was actually kind of worried that this would stand up more than it does on the creases where it was folded here. It, uh, it's actually not bad. It's almost kind of cozy to have your toes on with some socks. Um, chair slides. There's definitely more friction with this with my chair, um, obviously, than a hardwood floor. But uh, I don't know, not bad. It's not as noisy rolling over the wood floor. I don't have to worry about my socks getting caught on the uh, old slivers from the old wood floor. Have you ever told you how good I am at reading things like instructions that come with a product? No? Well, this one has a film. <laughs> um, and so it's not sticky like a sticker. I was expecting like maybe it's like super sticky. It's more tacky like a a rubber so it's not going to slide around but it's also not going to be permanently or leave any residue to the floor there's not going to be any residue to this you can see how my hand slides on there but um, it's also not going to slip and slide on its own <laughs> and it even has a little thing here on this corner it's a little starter for you to be able to unstick it peel here <laughs> to, as I think I was as I was saying I was worried that it would be folded up more because I got this guy back in September of 2022 and I'm just barely getting around to making this video in uh, the week before New Year's of 2022 so we're uh, we're finally testing this guy out and 
it's small, but uh, let's go ahead and test this out for a week or so, and uh, we'll see what we think, and then we'll uh, try out the other one. So, this is the carpeted floor mat for your office chair. All right, you guys, it is now time for part two where we are trying a much larger and a very different type of uh, floor mat for uh, my office chair here. So this one comes on a uh, cardboard roll. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but it comes on a cardboard roll. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll this guy out. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like cut it down or something. I hope not. But uh, this seems like a good way to store it. It's just huge. And then again, you know, I feel like this is probably the most compact way of storing something so large. With the carpet style material, it, um, it was too small for underneath my desk. So the self-adhesive on the bottom of it held it in place, but I kind of wanted something that like was my desk was sitting on as well. I don't know, maybe that's just me being silly, but here we go. All right, so it doesn't look like there is a peel off like uh, somewhat semi-adhesive, because it's not like sticky, but it, the last one was somewhat adhesive, so it stayed in place on its own. So let's go ahead. Looks like this cardboard tube wants to just slide out, so we'll start by doing that. And uh, so one side is this textured material, the other side is very smooth and glossy. It says that it could take up to a day to um, get this to come out flat. So they uh, recommend putting like books on it to weigh it down on the corners and stuff. But this is a thick, hard, I don't know, not necessarily hard, but rubber-like material. I wouldn't say it's rubber, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and slide this guy under my desk and maybe I can be able to holding it down, I don't know. So the first thing I'm noticing is um, I have two dogs and their hair sticks to this pretty well. <laughs> it just barely touched the mat and it's already got dog hair all over it as well as uh, brushed up against the paint on my uh, uh, baseboard here and that's transferred onto this thing. All right. All right, so we got our rubber mat down here. It's real slick and slippery, um, but uh, I don't know, I don't hate it. Um, so this is the edge on the uh, outside of the um, roll, so it doesn't stick up nearly as much, while well, the edge back there definitely does. So I have a printer, that's where it normally will be. It's holding down one corner, and then I have this little um, three drawer thing that I picked up from Walmart for organization. Um, so holding down the other corner. Um, it was a little bit of a to-do to get in here. If you're able to, it would be a lot easier if you could take this desk and move it out of the way entirely, put down the mat, and then bring the desk back in. Especially if you have like a second hand, things like that. I don't have a second hand at this time, but um, there we go. This guy's in. I'm going to try this out for a few days, maybe a week or so, and uh, we'll follow up with an update. All right, so I've now used each one for about a week, and uh, I've, I feel like I've generated a, a reasonable opinion between the two for things to consider if you're looking for a mat. So let's do kind of like an A-B comparison, like what I like and what I don't like about each one, and uh, we'll kind of go through the things that stood out to me between each one and what I would look for in the future if it's not one of these two exactly. So the first thing that stood out to me um, after trying both of these for a little while is that the gray one, I actually like the, the feeling of the carpet itself better. Um, I like to take off my shoes when I'm sitting at my desk if it's warm enough. Sometimes my home is a little cold and otherwise I'll probably keep something on. But having that bit of carpet there is like a little bit of cushion that just makes it more comfortable to have your feet resting on as opposed to this hard plastic cold mat that my office chair is rolling around on. You know, I kind of prefer the carpet there. But on the other side, I really like 
how big this one is. This big hard plastic one, um, it covers the whole area um, that I want it to. It covers everything that my desk is at, but if I'm honest, I kind of wish it was even bigger. It's a 63 by 51 inch mat that I have right now, and I almost wish that I had like a 63 by 55 or 63 by 60 or 60 by 60, something a little bit bigger in um, one way, just because I have a lot of width in my specific location, and I know probably it was meant to be turned the other way, but I wish I had just a little bit more that way because my feet, um, when I put them down, I, I my feet kind of hang off the edge of the uh, mat, and so I'm feeling the hardwood floor on the other side, and I just, I don't know, I'd rather just stay on the one surface. You know, that's one thing that uh, I didn't have that issue with the little mat, uh, because it was set longwise in between the, on the desk, and that one's even worse though in that case, that it's not very big at all. It's really small. I, if I would prefer that one like even bigger though, like having it be a 60 by 60 square. I'm sure they don't offer that or maybe they do and it's just not as affordable. The reason I went between these two is because they're both actually quite affordable. Um, the carpet one I believe is $30, let's look, $29.99 with a 10% coupon as well. So um, $27, is that right? Did I do my math right? I don't know. I'm doing math on camera. Don't count. Um, and then this big one here is $44. Um, it's almost twice the mat. Also, one thing about this big mat is that it attracts dog hair. You can see it so well. And so anytime I walk into my office, I'm like, ooh, I need to clean up real quick before I can sit down or... It's just, there's just so much dog hair on the floor and it just like, the static of it just like draws it in and it's like, yes! And then the contrasting color of like dog hair on a black shiny surface, it really stands out. Whereas on the carpet, it was a dark gray and they do make other colors, like they do make a, a black rug as well as a light gray rug. But I honestly, I would probably still go with the dark gray even though they have like a black and a light gray option. Um, it's just a, a nice tone. It's kind of like, you know, it yeah, it works and it doesn't show off the dog hair. Uh, one other thing, I don't know how well it's going to come across on camera, is the big black mat actually will uh, get bubbles and lips. Where the other one, where it's so small, it's not big enough to get, like, it's not underneath feet of things. And so I can't technically test that. However, this big black mat, it, it gets, it's, it's caught up a little bit underneath one of the feet. And so it's almost kind of like developed a memory. Cause like, I'll even like lift up the, the, I'll lift up the leg on the tip, my desk and kind of like force the bubble out underneath it to see if it'll go away. And then the next day it's back again. So it's probably some sort of kind of like a memory in the, uh, the plastic, unfortunately, just because when I first laid it out, it had it there and I never fixed it. And now it's kind of there forever and it's it's on both feet of the desk um i'm not a fan of that i it kind of stands out too much i'm not a big fan of that so that's another hit on the black mat but it is a smoother surface however the carpet is quieter when rolling around you can definitely it's still quieter than rolling around on just wood floor and a lot of the squeaking is just from my chair and the wood floor underneath but the carpet, it made it just a little bit quieter. So final thoughts, if I were to get one, I would probably go for a, the carpet one, that really hard, a carpet style floor mat. I would, I would go for one of those, but I would want it to be bigger. I'd want it to be that 60 by 60 or something close to that. I might even settle for something as big as this one that I have now that's a, uh, 60 by 63 by 51 and then just turn it long ways instead of having it underneath like my printer and all the other little things I have over here overall though I do I would prefer the carpet it is a very nice it's very comfortable and it's almost warmer where the plastic is a little colder I prefer to be a little warmer myself but 
Those are the things I go off of, and you can use those to decide for yourself, is that something you actually are worried about or not? If it is, great, now you know what to look for. And if it's not, you know you know what, that doesn't actually matter, so I can actually go for the black mat style or whatnot. Do I need a bigger mat or not? I would say in situations, it very much depends. Make sure you just get a tape measure out, and I would say measure from leg to leg on your desk. Make sure it sticks under the legs just a little bit. That way it holds, the desk will hold it in place uh, when you're sliding your chair back and forth. If you're looking for something to go over carpet instead of hardwood floor, you're probably gonna need to find something even firmer of a uh, surface than either of these just because they are a flexible material and so you'll ha you'll it, it won't work very well. I remember at my parents' home growing up, they had a carpet floor and they had one of those mats over that and it, the chair would roll a lot better on that than it would on the carpet, but something like this, it wouldn't work just because it's too flexible and so it would just dip it down in, just like it would in the carpet. The wheels would just kind of dip down into it. So that's something else to keep in mind depending on your situation. If you have additional questions, recommendations for a future video or anything like that, leave those in the comments below. If you want to get these for yourself, I'll have links down to them in the description below as well as links to my Amazon affiliate store. Uh, and I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you'd like to help support this channel, just use those Amazon links down in the description below and uh, do your shopping from there whether you buy this mat or any other mat. Clicking those links do help to support this channel with no additional cost to you. Thank you again so much for watching and if you think I've earned it please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.